In this episode, apparel hacks. So some of you may have some old t-shirts or jumpers where the neckline is kind of stretched like this and ironing just won't fix it. Well, don't throw them away because I'm gonna teach you a hack to fix this problem. So first thing you need to have is a bowl of ice water. Next thing, you wanna grab your t-shirt and then line up the neckline and fold into a kind of zigzag motion. Just dip this into the ice water. Dip it for until it gets cold. <laughs> now I just want to rinse out the excess water, open your t-shirt, and then you kind of just want to flatten out all the creases. Next thing, iron. So just make sure you don't iron it this way. Make sure you iron it towards the opening of the neck, all right? So that way you don't create that ripple in your neckline. Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the back as well. Now I just need to let it dry on a flat surface and that's about it, my friends. That is about it. Alrighty guys, my t-shirt is finally dry and now it's time to show you the results. I'm gonna shake it up. Look, it works. No wrinkles and not stretched anymore. Pretty good, right? Now I'm gonna teach you how to fold a really long coat. I'm gonna lay it down with the opening on the bottom. Just fold in the sides like that. I wanna get the bottom, fold it up, open up the front of the jacket, and then you just simply tuck the collar into the opening. And there you have it, a nicely, neatly folded coat. I like this hack because it saves space and it's nice and neat. You could also use it as a pillow. <laughs> Many, many, many of you will face this problem where you eat a lot of food and your jeans feel really tight. Now, most people will just like, kind of let it hang like that, but the thing is the zip sometimes comes down and who knows what's gonna happen after that. So I'm gonna teach you a really cool way to make your jeans more comfortable after a big meal or if you've put on lots of weight, all right? So all you need is a elastic band, all right? All you have to do is thread that band into the loop like this and then you just hook the rubber band or elastic band onto the button like that and this way you've got a lot more slack for your jeans and they're never gonna fall down now <laughs> anyway you get the gist now if you're tired of wearing the same old boring black singlet here's a different way you can wear it all you need is some thread so I've cut two pieces of thread right here and I just want to grab one of them first. So what you want to do is tie this thread around the singlet strap, okay? Thread this around a few times so it's nice and strong. Tie a knot so that it doesn't become loose. Cut off the excess string and now I'm going to do this side. Okay, so same thing again. You bundle it all up and then tie away. All right, done deal, baby. Same thing again, cut the excess string off. So now you've got your simple, plain old boring tank top changed into a new style and no sewing needed. Here's a really simple way to iron a shirt with buttons, okay? So most people will iron it around the buttons like this, which is kind of annoying, right? But all you have to do, people, is just flip it the other way around so that the buttons are facing down and then you can actually iron over the buttons. So this way, when you iron your shirt, you don't have to go around all the buttons and it is super smooth and easy, my friends. And just like that, people, you have a nicely ironed shirt. When you have to pack shirts with stiff collars, it can get a little bit annoying because you don't have much space in your luggage and usually things will lay on top of each other. And this could cause your shirt to get crumpled like this and you don't want that because it's just ugly. So I'm going to teach you a simple way to keep your collar nice and stiff, very easy. All you need is a belt. So all you have to do is just curl your belt up like this, all right? And then you want to place it inside the collar of the shirt. Just spread it out so it fills the collar. So by doing this, it's never going to flatten. So you can put all your clothes on top 
and it's always going to be stiff. Now when you want to give your looser pants a fitted tapered look at the bottom, this is what you do. What most people would do is just normally roll it like that, but then you still have a lot of room at the bottom of the leg. But if you fold it this way, you get a more tapered look. And this is especially good if you're wearing boots or if you want a nice clean tapered look at the bottom of your pants. Ah, very easy. And that is the end of this episode. Now don't forget to check out our merch that I designed at tandemmerch.com and hopefully you'll find something you will like. Also you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99 and if you like this video subscribe baby and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can simply download the free Click Network app to watch the videos before they hit YouTube. Bye bye.